ready to be done with the heat. Yeah, Tahoe was a good place to be if you wanted to get away from the triple digits because that's where we were again today in the valley. Some spots even still there right now. Highest number I've seen so far for downtown Sacramento, 101 degrees. That's where we were both Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow is going to feel much different. By the time we get to the afternoon, we're talking high temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Wednesday, Thursday, below average still. The average high today is 91 degrees. So what's going to change to get us there? Well, we've got an increasing marine layer off the coast, so more cool air building around the Bay Area, a better breeze to start to bring that inland. But more importantly, we have big area of cooler air that's going to drop in from the north. That's what's really going to make the big difference. And we can track that cool air here on our map. Areas of high and low pressure, which you see highlighted, but in general, underneath the highs, that's where the air is hot. Underneath the lows, like this one coming in from the north, that's where the air is a little bit cooler. So by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, yeah, the cool air is not quite here yet, but look at the wind arrows here. They're pointing on shore, so increasing the delta breeze and increasing the breeze really for everybody by the time we get to the afternoon and evening. Wednesday will be breezier still. It's more of a westerly breeze. If you're in the Sierra, especially on the east slope, you'll notice those gusty winds through the afternoon into the evening. Thursday, the cooler air starts to pull away and notice the wind arrows here. They're turning more from the north. There will be a little bit of a north flow at the end of this week. We can dial in exactly how strong that north breeze may be in our part of the valley as we get a little bit closer. But just know starting tomorrow, it's going to feel more comfortable and we're seeing signs of that cooler air building up at the coast already. Fairfield is down seven degrees compared to this time yesterday, while inland spots are within a couple degrees of yesterday afternoon's temperature. So we really haven't changed much there, at least not just yet. Winds are coming from the west through Fairfield, sustained right now at 15 miles per hour. Light winds for the time being in the valley, but notice a nice breeze in Auburn and Placerville. So tonight, also going to be cooler into the foothills. Not a whole lot changes for the Sierra just yet. A few scattered high clouds tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 70s, morning lows starting in the 30s. We'll notice that afternoon and evening breeze around Tahoe. For the foothills, morning temperatures a bit lower compared to the last couple of mornings, but still some spots in the upper 60s. Angels camp tomorrow. 86, 86 as well in Placerville. Today's temperatures are in the low to mid 90s. Biggest drop, of course, is going to be at the coast. San Francisco will stay in the 60s tomorrow, low 80s for Fairfield and for Concord. You'll notice that onshore breeze all day long through Solano County. And look at this, the San Joaquin Valley starting in the low 60s. Most places I think will stay in the upper 80s. Wouldn't be surprised to see a spot like Turlock or Modesto briefly pop into the low 90s. And it's the same idea for the Sacramento Valley, 80s as opposed to triple digits. That'll feel pretty nice. And then we keep that trend going through Wednesday into Thursday. Back to you. All right, looks pretty good. An Olympic gold medalist sharing his...